my fault, my fault. I forgot it was December. <laughs> forgot it was December. Couldn't I had to go find the hat. But um today we got next up how the baby became the most hated rapper ever. Most hated? You know, most hated? Uh you sure? Uh, <laughs> six nine. Lil Bump, Roseanne, a lot of little niggas that uh, got a lot of hate, but I don't know. I don't know. We about to find out what the hell he did or yeah, what he is doing to become the most hated. Uh, I was going to say this YouTuber, Sunny V2, I just recently discovered his channel. I think the first video from him that I watched was the vegan teacher in Gordon Ramsay. And then after that, just went down like a rabbit hole of other videos that he made. He, he's pretty damn good. So I thought it would be cool if we reacted to this newest video of his. Let's watch. And I'm not implying that I hate any of those people that I just named. I don't have enough room in my heart to harbor hate for any of these niggas. I do not fucking know any of them, bro. Nor do I care about any of them. Some of y'all be way too deep in with these celebrities. The baby like, has slowly become the internet's most hated How you gonna hate somebody that don't you know do that don't know you? Title. Well, his actions range from insulting fans to getting angry at flight attendants. <clears throat> However, the very Just first thing that began to turn to baby's audience against him was the time he'd get into a beef with kids YouTuber Jojo Siwa. I the actually remember this. The baby would post a song titled <laughs> Beatbox Freestyle, in which he'd hold up a photo of Jojo Siwa and call her a bunch He's a of bitch. nasty Jojo names. Siwa, a bitch. was instantly <laughs> shared to Twitter where it gained over a million views and 42,000 likes on a post. Yeah, that was funny. What did Jojo Siwa do that made the baby mad like that? While some joked about the baby calling her out over a height insecurity, most wow. were simply baffled that DaBaby would target a kid's YouTuber. She's literally a child, kind of out of line to That's be That's how is he? Yo, that is funny AF. He really came for a I thought he was kid, like five. Which accompanied a post by James Charles reading, can someone please explain Something. why DaBaby is dissing Jojo Siwa when she's 12 years younger, 10 times richer, and two inches taller than him? Now, DaBaby had absolutely no business in responding to these comments as they weren't really- Out of all the people, a lot of the I don't think that nigga should be saying anything. meant nothing of it, probably just needed something to say and the others were simply surprised that DaBaby went there which is literally how DaBaby described his own branding I'm gonna say I can't believe he said it however despite also stating that he wasn't the type of guy to respond to things online when it's said outside of music and I'm expected to respond and clear it up without using music that ain't what I do it'd still take to Twitter to squash the drama in a post reading at it's Jojo Siwa my three-year-old princess is your number one fan I bought her every product you have out she thinks she you don't let him trick you into thinking I'd ever have a problem with you my wordplay just went over their heads all love on my end shorty keep shining what was the wordplay again exactly <laughs> pretty decent but since he never needed to respond in the first place all it did was show everyone that he was paying attention to the drama yeah what was the wordplay i don't get what he was trying to say is that your way of genuinely apologizing you probably came to your senses that you wouldn't want anyone to dis disrespect or call your daughter a b She's a sweet, innocent person, all about love, and you called her that publicly for your song? Shaking my head. Shut your yeah. Uh, and was unable to stay silent if he was Shut criticized up. too okay, heavily. Damn. In the lead up to this tweet, DaBaby had established a reputation as a kind of hardcore gangster rapper, and to be on Twitter justifying why but he was what was the word YouTuber, play? felt kind of inauthentic to his image. DaBaby stated in an interview that he's doing his own thing and is not really caught up in any of the internet drama. I'm just doing me, like I'm yeah. not even really caught They're up. They're not gonna elaborate. Going on. Yet in a different interview, he contradicts this by stating that he's willing to change his opinions if the internet criticism becomes too hard. It is about how much you value others' opinions on the internet or just, you know, people's opinion around you. I don't value it until they get to messing with my money. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. You know, mm -hmm. now now you probably need to take heed to that, you know, make some adjustments. While this is certainly a more mature approach, maturity is rarely what people are looking for in music and entertainment. I could be wrong about this, but it often feels as though the personality of the person making the music is just as important as the music itself. And when it comes to hardcore rap, people want to follow the completely unapologetic gangster as opposed to the person who's 
who's known for responding to criticism on Twitter. This point feeds perfectly into his response to the Rolling Loud controversy, which happened only four months after the incident with Jojo Siwa. Whilst on stage, I the baby would imply that people with about HIV this? weren't welcome at his shows, and since okay. the event was being streamed online, yeah. the internet began to discuss the comments immediately. Now, as mentioned in other videos, if DaBaby had simply stayed silent on the criticism, the problem would have disappeared. However, just like the Jojo Siwa controversy, he felt the need to clarify his position with a public statement. I'm gonna address this one time and I'm gonna get back to giving my love to my fans. You see what I'm saying? Because what me and my fans do at the live show, it don't concern you. It's not y'all business. What I do at a live show is for the audience at the live show. It'll never translate correctly to somebody looking at a little five, six second clip on your phone. <laughs> it just don't work like that. This Instagram live stream only led to more people discovering what he had said and shortly thereafter celebrities <laughs> such as Elton John, Madonna and Dua Lipa <laughs> were stating on Instagram that they were surprised and horrified at DaBaby's comments. DaBaby stated that he wasn't worried at any point during the Rolling Loud controversy. Were you kind of scared like how everyone was like trying nah, to cancel you and shit like that? Nah, I wasn't scared. That was probably my problem. However, this is a complete contradiction to his actions because if he wasn't scared, Yo, he wouldn't feel the need to take out. to Twitter and apologize, which is what he would do after the Instagram live stream. I want to apologize to the LGBTQ plus community for the hurtful and triggering comments I made. Again, I apologize for my misinformed comments about HIV slash AIDS, and I know education on this is important. Going back to the problem of authenticity, DeBaby would go on to state that he didn't even agree with his own apology. Even though, you know, I'm, I don't I don't agree with it, you feel me? Like, you know, if if this the example that gotta be made, if this what God want me to go through, you feel me? For whatever reason, let's do it, I'm with it. And that he only put it out because at a certain level, you have to move in a different way. You get to certain levels in it, you know, you gotta make adjustments, you know what I'm saying, and, and move a certain way, it's simple, you know? Ironically, he's talking to Charlemagne who wrote a book on how living an authentic life is the quickest path to success, which is something oh, yeah. that the baby himself highlighted as the reason behind why he's been so successful. What makes you different? I mean, I'm like, why do you have that drive? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I'm just me. Yet going back on his own statements and posting insincere apologies was the opposite to being his authentic, brutal rapper image. As a rapper, somebody who can speak freely and I'm not one to do all that hard work day in, day out, make all these sacrifices, get there just to be controlled like a puppet. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't how I get out. Now, it didn't seem like DaBaby actually had any problems with the people he called out. Anybody mm -hmm. from the LGBTQ community, any of that, bro, I am not tripping on y'all. I ain't never had an issue with none of y'all. It wasn't directed to no group of people in particular and nothing like that. Like, it really ain't that deep at all to me. However, because he blew the whole thing up with a bunch of his own social media attention, the brands he was working with began to drop him one by one. Fashion brand Boohoo publicly ended their relationship with him. Lollapalooza dropped him Public from the lineup on the up. very last day of the festival, citing their founding values of diversity, inclusivity, respect, and love. The Governor's Ball Music Festival, set to take place in September, announced that DaBaby would not be performing as part of their lineup. UK event Park hey. Life cut him from the roster, though the rapper's team claims that the decision was made months before Rolling Loud. The team behind Day and Night Vegas hey, replaced his set list with that of Roddy Rich. Even the working family's party quickly removed him from the list of celebrity performers. <laughs> they said, nah, and nah, the nah, you podcast, didn't, you weren't the one that canceled it, it was us. Release his own meal at Burger King, which was also canceled as a result of the controversy. I had my own meal at Burger King. A lot of people don't know that it was called the Jonathan Kirk meal. They wanted to use my name. I shot a commercial for it and everything. They had my name on the box. Everything. The fuck still so eats no, Burger no, 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 King. In a different interview, DaBaby gave a dollar figure for how much his comments had cost him. I had but I would never seek that out. I was on the schedule before December 31st. I was gonna buy my private plane, but it is what it is. It go how it go. You know, God ain't want me to have my plane yet. He's like, hold on, yeah. man, just chill. And while DaBaby clearly took the loss in a very respectable manner, this seemingly did little to repair his reputation, as after being invited back to Rolling Loud six months later, the crowd threw drinks at him. However, the worst part about the controversy was from that point onwards, DaBaby was berated on Twitter for almost anything he'd do. For example, people brought up the time where he'd attack a fan at a club for putting a flashlight in his face, resulting in another apology video. I do sincerely apologize. Keep in mind. Nigga, I stop. See. <laughs> Accompanying another bizarre clip of him stop. being rejected whilst trying to kiss I a fan. I saw that also shit. Yo, some kind of strength. that is so fucking cringe, bro. Like, yo, oh my god. The... You know how full of yourself you gotta be like how comfortable 
like this nigga got comfortable as a celebrity like he Maybe really just thought to nigga i will do so whatever the fuck like that is crazy bro that is, crazy. Make a mistake, crazy. After mistake, that is after so mistake, cringe bro after mistake after mistake there was also the time where he'd make what seemed to be a satirical tweet stating that he was voting for kanye which warranted responses such as waste i can't believe you're even promoting this baby you got too big of a platform to be tweeting this nonsense bro you're not even eligible to vote which accompanied <laughs> a different more real platform to wait let me there was also the time where he'd make what's oh yeah i got me most of if you don't think if you think i ain't voting for uh, to be a satirical yeah. tweet to build a I vote, said, which accompanied a different more recent video where he'd get angry at a flight attendant for not combing her hair we gonna oh pay all that for that flight you gonna comb your hair straight up they not nah, don't we gonna pay all that this is probably part of the reason why the baby believes that social media can become a negative thing once you reach a okay. certain size. But at some point, I think like it may be safer for you not to use it as much because you can become overexposed. But the real question is, how has this affected the performance of his music? Well, his latest album released in September 2022, which was titled Baby on Baby 2, sold only 16,000 units in its first week, which is 87% less than Baby on Baby 1, which sold 124. 4,000 units in its first week. The music video for one of the songs on his new album titled Boogeyman features five different Damn. people, one of which being an obviously gay person, and throughout the video everyone is killed besides the gay guy, before DaBaby daps him up at the end, says I ain't got a problem with you, and once again apologizes for the rolling loud comments. The whole thing just feels extremely performative and insincere, with this clear <laughs> attempt at avoiding controversy, <laughs> resulting in more controversy. Because alongside his new album's yeah. release, DaBaby announced that he had to cancel one of his shows after selling only 500 tickets to a venue which seated 14,000. Going to a DaBaby concert because I need some alone time and I know no one else will be there. Oh my god, yo. Fuck. 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 Did fall? Yo, the, oh my god, that Loki hurt. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. To fall out that hard and then ha go on the internet and <laughs> see niggas shitting on you like this is crazy that is actually crazy to just be like nah these types of jokes yeah that nigga for sure cried cried himself to sleep but i was gonna say bro seeing hate online is like one thing like nigga you can easily ignore that shit but going to your own show or not your own show since it was like rolling loud i think he said but just go into a show to perform you were asked to be there and when you get on stage and niggas is throwing shit on you like that throwing drinks and stuff that's gotta be the most enraging <laughs> that, that's just crazy uh, bro that is just crazy a little song to them then i'd have a more successful concert than debate oh if fuck the concert was lit <laughs> however to the baby's credit he's taken his setbacks quite humbly having replied to his lower album sales by stating not bad for the blackballed baby there are a lot of people who have covered in the past that are clearly deserving of their poor reputations but you could argue that the baby isn't really one of them he's a hard worker i was gonna say what the fuck and he got a muscle music, suit on yet he's been unable to keep his mouth closed on controversial <clears throat> topics which only compounds when you compromise your integrity and change your personality to suit whatever the audience wants you to be that nigga really <laughs> really said his response concert that his response to having a flashlight shine in his face was i couldn't see so i just started swinging <laughs> like my nigga what yeah come on man the nigga couldn't even see i couldn't even see you for real so that don't that don't mean I punched you in the fucking face on purpose. Like, bro, come on, yo. These niggas and they logic. These motherfuckers. This is why. This is why y'all need PR teams. Because y'all just don't be thinking before posting whatever the hell y'all be talking about. Holy, that was some dumb ass shit that I just heard. <laughs> but. So. We understand why. By the end of the video, we understand why all the crazy fucking weird cringe shit that he did i still don't have an explanation i, I still don't know why that jojo siwa diss was in the song does anyone know what the fuck the wordplay was what was it supposed to be why was that uh in the song Edgar talking about wordplay flew over everybody said literally everyone because i don't see nobody saying what the hell he actually meant but 
yeah, y'all let me know in the comments down below if y'all figured it out. If you enjoyed my reaction, feel free to leave a like, and I shall see you all in the next one.